Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about the history of Bee Ridge. Now some of you have probably been down Bee Ridge Road or maybe seen signs for it on the highway, but we don't always think about Bee Ridge as a community anymore. And that's because over the years, Bee Ridge has kind of been absorbed into the greater Sarasota area. But a hundred years ago, Bee Ridge was actually its very own community. Now, the Bee Ridge community started out in the 1860s, it's thought, uh, by a, uh, an early settler named Isaac Red. And supposedly, he gave the name Bee Ridge to the area because there was natural honey to be had. The bees in the area actually made uh, their nests in trees, and so locals were able to come as they wanted to and, and get honey uh, from the trees. Now, for the first few decades of Bee Ridge's existence, it was mostly just an outpost settlement. Uh, you know, people still had to go into Sarasota uh, to get the things that they needed. There were a couple of stores, there was a school there, uh, but in the early 20th century, that began to change. The Sarasota Venice Company, which was a project that was started by a Chicago socialite turned land developer, Bertha Palmer, and, uh, and her family, uh, that Sarasota Venice Company began developing the area around Bee Ridge, in fact, quite a bit of what's now Sarasota County. And they used the Bee Ridge area to sort of create this kind of experimental farm area. They invited people to come and invest in farmland around the Bee Ridge area. In fact, I've got a map here. Uh, from the History Center. This is a copy of the original plat of Bee Ridge that was platted out by the Sarasota Venice Company in 1912. You can see the signatures on the plat are from Honoré Palmer, uh, Palmer, that's Bertha Palmer's son, and Joseph H. Lord, who was the vice president of the company. And if you look on the plat, all of these were farm areas that were going to be sold to buyers, but then they created a town site right here in the middle. And if you look at the very center of this, that's actually the corner of modern day Lockwood Ridge Road and Proctor Road. So that to give you a sense of the center of the old Bee Ridge. And the folks who were in the Bee Ridge area were growing all kinds of things. We do have evidence that honey was being produced at Bee Ridge at the time that the Palmers had it uh, in the 19 teens. We do see that in some of the ledger records that we have here at the Sarasota County History Center. But we also know that they were growing lots of other things, even some things that we don't really associate with this area anymore. Obviously, truck crops and fruits and vegetables and things like that were really big, but you don't always think about corn being grown in this area. But we do know that corn was being produced uh, right here at Bee Ridge in the early part of the 20th century. So here's the big question though. It's, it's Bee Ridge, was honey production ever a really big thing here? In fact it was, but it wasn't so much in the really early 20th century. If we move forward in time a little bit to 1939 into the early 1940s, there was actually a couple, it's these folks right down here. This is, uh, these folks right here, this is uh, Pat and Betty Mivel are their names and they actually established a company uh, called Sunfed, the Sunfed Honey Company. They also uh, had a broader company that they called Shangri-La Groves, and they established a pretty extensive honey production business, producing honey and other honey-related products that were shipped all over the United States. And uh, these products, they were even on the shelves at one point of Macy's and Bloomingdale's department stores, so it was a pretty widespread thing. And we've got a couple of pictures here of them with their mail order business. At first, they, they, most of their honey was being distributed all around the U.S. through mail order stuff. You can see they've got a sign here for the Bee Ridge Post Office. And then uh, uh, this brochure that we have right here, this comes from the ephemera collection that we have here at the Sarasota County History Center. And they put in some interesting facts about honey and its healthful, uh, the health benefits of consuming honey. So pretty cool stuff there. So one other thing that was interesting about these folks is besides just uh, trying to get people to sell, you know, to buy their honey products, they also had an educational component. They actually had a, 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 a specialty hive, they called it a Chester Drawers hive, that had all the different uh, pieces of sort of the life cycle of bees and honey production all illustrated all in one little exhibit that they could send around Florida and they even sent it up to New York for a couple of different expositions. And we've got that here in this photo as well. You can see, uh, when you look at the photo, you can see they've got all the different pieces of, uh, of the life cycle of the bees and their honey production listed there. You've got nectar, you've got the combs, you've got the foundation, all that stuff all the way through. 
So these are just a few examples, photographs, ephemera, maps, and we have some other records as well that document the history of Bee Ridge. And we have this kind of material at the Sarasota County History Center for neighborhoods and communities all around the county. And these are things that you can come in and view and do research with anytime you like. So uh, if you're interested in learning a little more about how you might be able to learn about Bee Ridge or maybe your neighborhood or maybe your uh, community within the county, uh, best thing to do is to get started by going online at scgov.net slash history. That's our website. You can also give us a call. You can catch us at 941-861-5000 and just ask for the History Center. They'll transfer you to us and we'll be glad to help you study the next bit of Sarasota County history that you're interested in learning about. All right, that's all for today. We'll see you next time.